Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ade Ayo Akinri and I'm so glad that you are here. I started this um, channel to share my stories, body good and by literally just talk about my journey on this planet Earth. And this is a discussion that I have found so hard to sit down and talk about for the past six months because I literally felt like, like maybe I was alone in this journey. And then I summoned up the courage to talk with some of my friends, newly married, and my other sister. And I found that this is something that we really took me to talk about. So here am I. I really hope you enjoy this episode. Come along with me. So let's start off this way because I would really love to monetize this video. I'm going to be substituting, you know, what we'll be talking about today. Um, I'll be substituting it with doing the real deal. So I hope you understand, you know, because of YouTube policy and a lot of that. So let me start off this way. <laughs> Getting married six months ago because for us, after our court wedding, we got our parents' blessings to start living together. That was when I finally moved with my husband and I packed things that I would no longer be needing, you know, at a site to my parents' place. And, you know, people talk about a lot of things when it comes to wedding night. Like, you might get tired, you might not be able to do the do, you know, during the wedding night. And don't even start with, you know, it was court wedding, so court wedding is not always stressful for us. We had our court wedding in Ibadan. We had gone the day before. They were fixing almost all the express roads in Ibadan, so there was a more than traffic standstill, you know. So it was horrible. The first day, the second day, we had to go through the same thing. Coming back into Lagos, there was traffic on the Long Bridge, so we had to go and pass Shakamo, a place where we don't know. We navigated through the map, and you know how maps can be in places that are not Lagos or maybe Abuja. <laughs> So it was really crazy. We got back home really famished and my husband was just learning how to drive then. So it was really, really, really crazy. But getting back home, you know, we did not postpone this next day, <laughs> really. So different, whatever, for different folks. So for some people, they say they might get so tired and they might not be able to, you know, have it on that day. So it's different for different people. And for Christians who are supposed to wait till marriage or you know, for some people that I have, have maybe had sex before, but I've been celibate for a long time, in which case applies to me and my husband. And I, for me, you know, being the lady, it was not a walk in the park, trying to understand how everything was going to be like. So after all of those things, I had to call my sister down, sat down with her, and we had this conversation. Hi, I'm Mommy. Good evening, Ma. I'm fine. So, um, I remember that I had this discussion with you, you know, a few days ago, um, about, um, you know, sex after getting married. I just lit literally wanted to, like, you know, talk about it once again. Like, so, like, I just wanted to, like, share your ex experience about it. And do you think that this is something that should be more um, common now, you know, among Christians or in churches for um, newlyweds? I think um, sex is something that we should really take into consideration when it comes to marriage because it's, it's really a big thing to talk about. And for me, it wasn't not an easy thing to do really because the first time was 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 really not it was not okay at all. It was it was stressful. It was painful. So we had to do a lot of research, what we need to do, what we do about it, so that it could be more easier because uh, it was really painful. My husband was even afraid, like, I ah, didn't you know, what is happening. So I feel the matter of sex is something that we should start talking about because really, when it comes to counseling couples and intending couples, 
what we talk about to his husband, love your wife. You know, most times people feel like this is what you should know about. When we went for counseling, my husband major things and I, that we discussed was love your wife, submit to your husband, cook for your husband, respect your in-laws, and all of those things. And when people talk about the fact that when you get married, the first year in marriage is the most difficult year, you know, I wonder why. And you know, getting into it, I actually started understanding why they say that. Although in my case, that really didn't happen, but I have friends and sisters, and we've had this discussion. You know, there are some people that are moving into a new state. There are some people that, for the guy, is just you know getting his finances together to get a home, get the furniture, and the, set up the kitchen and all of those things for his wife. And for the wife coming into a new city, you know, trying to. Um, get a job and all of that is draining on its own then imagine that your husband is already expecting that now that i'm about to get married you know i have free access to everything that i had a better word you know suffered myself not having you know when i was a bachelor you know i have the free access to it now but for you you are just trying to learn your body you know a lot of things is happening to your body in your body at the same time and nobody has told you that this is the way it's going to be like you just feel like you know you've seen maybe sex scenes in movies and all you've read about it you've watched cartoons and all of those things and you believe that it's all you know angel singing and <laughs> But you get there and you really could not understand all of these things like you are having a lot of body changes and you're having you know you are bloated you most times for me there are times i couldn't go to the toilet to the toilet for like two three days and i'm so bloated and my tummy was so big and for me i had a very very you know flat tummy and you know that started changing and i was wondering this is happening like if this is what you guys have been talking about all this while then you definitely you are over it you know just like that said yeah i was telling you the other time about when one doctor i talked to the guy i was under a picture like that he was like <laughs> So for me, 12 days after my wedding, I got really sick. I was so sick that I could not do anything. My husband was literally person for me, would, you know, help me walk. I couldn't do anything, was feeding, was literally doing everything for me. Like dressing up for me, you know, from scratch to the end, it was literally, I could not do anything. I was so so sick and i felt like you know after that that would be the end and then you know five months into it i was um six months into it i felt sick like four or five times you know starting a new job in a new city and getting leaves up and down because we were sick and in the engine going through all of that why you are um, you know you are newly married and your husband has been expecting a lot and here you are you know falling sick trying to understand why this is happening in your body and you know why that is happening in your body you know for a man their you know organ is outside but for us it's inside and the way it's the female body is designed is to fight you know whatever it is that the man is depositing in the body so this is new for you you're probably 25 28 30 you know getting into marriage you've been celibate for eight ten years you have not had sex at all and you know these strange bodies are coming into your body every time and you know your body is fighting all of that and some people fight a lot of infections you know getting into marriage married because you know this part has been closed for a long time and now it is about to get opened you know maybe almost every week or you know most times almost every week and for people that are trying to give birth to children they are basically trying and trying and trying and trying and you're having a lot of that you know being deposited into your body and you know your body start bringing out different things that you've never had before guys to um a lot of things that you know yeast to um rashes and all of those things that you never experienced before 
and it re literally just takes you off track and gets you worried. Imagine going in and out of the hospital and knowing that you are a very healthy person, but here you are going in and out of the hospital. You know, it can be really, really crazy. It's not really common to be that we are trying to keep ourselves until marriage. That should not support from talking about all this because most marriage has torn apart, has been apart because of this. The fact that yeah, preparing I, I, them. Exactly. Thing that I would always advise is having a very understanding partner because this is not going to be a walk in the park. Trust me, having a very understanding partner is very, very germane. For me, my husband is an investment research analyst, but he has literally done research about everything that has to do with womanhood, sex life. You know everything that has to do with them some information about the woman body that my husband literally talks about sometimes and he's like okay what you're experiencing is normal and i'm like how do you know about it you know i read about it and i'm like what is happening so for him you know after things really started getting really hard for me you know it didn't make it like it is your you know work you should know how to get through it it really get to and I started studying about a lot of things he read and read voraciously about a lot of things and he was really gentle with me you know throughout the whole process and also I would say you know starting out you guys are starting out together you know you're not like you have different sex partners and you know how this feels or how that feels and everything and you are like so I believe you should talk about it let him know that you enjoy these things or you don't enjoy these things and you know be ready to just explore together and because these are things that they really don't talk about in church you feel like you just learn it along the way so that is why i believe that communication between the two people are very very is very very charming so talk with your partner let them know what you enjoy let them know what you don't like let them know if there is anything you know that you would love to try out and if you try it out and it doesn't work you know be be um you know be able to talk about it open up and tell them okay we tried this out but i don't think it works for me and also you know you feel like for women you feel like oh you are going to start feeling all the body gym 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 or you, you might start getting you know to your peak whenever you start out but that might not be the case i think with everybody i've spoken with that is not the case and for me that was not the case when we started out i actually believed that you know doing all those acts before the real day is for me then the real deal is for my husband like i never got to you know understand or accept the fact that i could also enjoy the real deal the real deal too so you know all the hacks before then i tried to soak myself up in because i know that as soon as the video started like starts it's not for me it's for him you know so it took quite some time before i started enjoying the real deal myself to you know so opening yourself to be able to you know know all that so people will be like if you really don't know the acts before the real deal you know leaning for the first time would not be painful i would say that is a lie but you know before you start enjoying the real deal then you have to be able to cope with all the pain that comes with you know that particular time so there, there are really a lot of things i want to discuss about this and i think i would still have to see around to have discussion with you about this and we are going to talk a lot about you know you know the woman body going through the um, fertility phase you know trying to get pregnant and all of that and i think i'm going to be bringing on you know a lot of newly married women and sisters so that we could talk about this and you would know that you're not alone you know for people that are about to get married for people that are newly married like me please drop in the comment section you know let's talk about this together I really hope you enjoyed this episode and I was really able to burn my mind out because this is a kind of big topic for me. So to meet next week, always remember that, remember that life is a catch-22. You can't fight nor resist it. The only way to fight life is to ac accept it over the God's hand. So speak your truth as your truth might help anyone out there. Meet next week. I love you guys. Peace.